So like, for example, Barbara McClintock in the 1940s. Who's that? She is, um, her, her, she won the Nobel Prize in, the, in 1983. She's got her picture on a postage stamp and she was an early pioneer in genetics, okay? And before DNA was even fully understood, back in the 40s, she did experiments with corn maize. And she studied corn because, she, you know how corn has like some of, the, some of it is yellow and some of it is brown and black and you, the, speckled, right. uh, the speckled pattern in corn? Right. She discovered that you could figure out what was going on with the chromosomes and genes by studying the patterns of, in the corn. In the ear of corn? Yes. Interesting. Okay, and it was very meticulous, laborious work. But she started breeding corn and damaging chromosomes to see what would happen. And, and so, and so here's, uh, here's what she discovered. She discovered that, okay, so here's a strand of corn DNA, and it's got all these different chromosomes. She discovered that if she damaged this chromosome, the DNA would take a piece of this chromosome, copy it over there, overwrite the damage, and repair itself. And then repair itself. Now, your DVD player does something similar if you have a smudge on it. Mm -hmm. You ever watch, watch a movie and you see, you can see the DVD player trying to guess what the screen is supposed to look like and you see a little glitch but maybe it doesn't bother you too much because it's not too bad and it goes by and it doesn't like just stop or hang up or, or, or show you garbage. It's doing the same thing. It's saying, well, I'm going to go back, you know, a quarter of a second. I'm going to grab a, picture, uh, a piece of the picture, and I'm going to stick it in here, and hopefully it won't be a It'll notice. It'll be close enough to make that work. It'll be close enough. Yeah. Okay. And CD players have this. So in, 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 in the 40s, Barbara McClintock discovered that DNA does this. Hmm. And now we have DVD players doing this. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. So it's an error correction system there. Yes. Okay. DNA actually devotes a considerable amount of resources to correcting this kind of stuff. Okay. So the idea that we just scramble DNA and it makes it better, it's not true. It's actually completely absurd from an engineering point of view. But this actually takes us a whole nother step. I think McClintock discovered the real mechanism of evolution.